and let's say this hat this is on vendor two and I'll say this is supplies again supplies not for the items let's close that close that category supplies and let's say this is for two two thousand I'm using that number a lot two <laughs> two one four oh and let's say this is for business but this is for California now location and then supplies and this is going to be three one two seven six it's a lot higher in California because we waste money California wastes a lot of money we'd like to spend like crazy so we're going to say okay so let's do that and then we'll save save it and then on the income statement I can see it broken out by location California and Nevada uh, and if I want it then I can filter that location by the departments so for example now I can go back up top and I can say using these two things together I can customize and filter and say that I'm going to filter by class so I'm looking at it by location but then I want to filter by class just looking at the business for example and then run it so now I've got California filtered and Nevada but that are filtered by the business items and if I wanted to I can also then go to customize and and run it by by classes which now gives me uh, my whole income statement by class now so now I get a whole nother set of columns which still totals up to the total income statement and if this was representing my my admin and my sales I can see the total admin and sales here kind of together for both locations California and Nevada in this case and then I can filter by location if I wanted to so I can look at it this way and then customize up top and filter now by location and so I can say I want to filter it by just the California or whatever so th that's what you kind of got to think about and visualize when you're trying to say okay if I have sub if I have subcategories do I want to make them parent classes and subclasses where I'm going to get this long kind of horizontal report with these subcategories within it so I've got California sales department within California and then or else you have you have you could have a California and then three stores that are located within California and then Nevada three stores located within that which are going to have a very all across the headers up top or do I want a situation where I want to be able to break out a whole separate line of columns that will sum up to the total and then be able to filter by those different areas like we have here where you've got California Nevada as locations and then the admin and the sales for example as as classes and then you can you can run a, a report just showing admin and sales you know together and then and then the locations together so you know there's different and, and then the filtering options so when you start putting them together it gets a little bit how you're going to visualize how this whole thing should be constructed and which tools should you be putting together in combination with each other okay then there's also the, the the last thing to touch on is the payroll thing here uh remember that with with classes you've got more flexibility with the payroll so if you're running payroll within quickbooks if i hit the drop down up top and i wanted to look at my payroll settings which i turned on just to look at you might be able to look at it with a free 30-day trial and i go down to the bottom tier then notice i've i've got this capacity to turn on class tracking but not location tracking at this point in time so that's why the class tracking is a little bit easier possibly to break out even if you're using locations for california and nevada if you can assign each individual employee to the class that they to the place they're going to go to by class that, then if that's what you're using it for classes might be a little bit easier than locations uh in that sense but 
uh, even if you're using locations, you can use maybe your journal entry method that we talked about in some of the prior uh, formats. So let's just, for example, if you process payroll uh, with, with the location tracking, let's just see if I can process payroll if they let me do it. Again, I've been processing payroll to test it out here. And I'm just gonna say she worked 10 hours, boom. And preview, well, hold on a sec. I wanna go back. And I wanna put this in uh, March if it's possible. Let's do it uh, here. I don't think they're gonna allow me to put the pay date back there though. That's the problem. Let's try it though. Uh, let's say it's gotta be after, <laughs> after the, right there. Uh, you cannot enter a check date that is earlier than 4-1. All right, whatever. So then we'll say payroll, submit. Okay, they're giving me issues with the date. So I'm going to put the date up in the current day just to run this thing. 